The Oriana Canal Irrigation Community covers an area of 40,400 hectares, has 5,000 water rights holders and uses exclusively gravity irrigation. Our ultimate goal is to have a little more control over water consumption because for the last few years the Hydrographical Confederation has insisted that we use too much water and that we need to be more water efficient. And also, we want to better control consumption based on the area, type of crops and time of year. Before, everything was done manually. The canal operator or the supervisor would travel to each gate and open and close them manually according to the water needed. Now, at the 27 sites where we have the automated gates, they don't have to go there. They can do it directly from their mobile phone or it can be done through SCADA at the office. It has made work easier for us by saving time because the supervisors don't have to travel as much as before and also because with the automated gates we have a steady flow. Before, if weeds or a container got lodged in a manual gate, it would measure flow incorrectly. Also, the automated gates record the volume of water passed so we know the consumption by area and crops at the end of the season. My role is to meet the demand of irrigation water rights holders in my area. I run an area of 7,000 hectares in operational area number three. In order to do that, I have seven canal operators who receive the water rights holders' requests. We, in turn, request the water to be released by the Hydrographical Confederation and then we distribute it. I used to use the duckbill weirs to regulate, to try and maintain a steady canal water level. Now the automated gates do that job for me. Regardless of whether the canal water levels are high or low, the gate will open and close to deliver the required flow rate. So, for example, we don't know in advance when the Confederation will release our requested water. They just phone to say it's been released. Our canal operators could be seven kilometres away and they would have to quickly travel to manually operate the gates. Now there is no need for anyone to travel. When the Confederation tells me that our water has been released, I use my phone to adjust the automated gate wherever I am and then I just tell the canal operator, hey, you have the 100 litres or 200 or 300 you requested. So it has saved them a lot of time and work. Now, in the last stage of the irrigation season, when not all of the irrigation canals carry water, we have to open or close irrigation gates very early in the morning. And now I do that at 7 or 6.30 a.m. from home, whereas before I had to get up early to be on site. It would be interesting to have many more automated gates. It would save us a lot of work. We would have much better control of the water, much better. In fact, I have recommended them to someone nearby. <laughs> you know that. <laughs>